Want to score more points in the first LEGO League robot game? I'll show you the simple grabber trick teams use to lift, trap, and move mission models reliably. Lifting and moving items is one of the most common and most rewarding challenges in the first LEGO League robot game. Almost every year, missions require you to pick something up and move it somewhere else. In Super Powered, it was water barrels. In Masterpiece and Submerged, you had to collect characters attached to rings. So, how do you grab those tricky items without dropping them or wasting time? The secret is the carabiner. It's a grabber that snaps over looped objects. It's one of the most powerful tools you can add to your robot. I'm Preston with Spretronics Learning Lab, and today I'm going to show you two awesome carabiner style grabbers you can build using just one LEGO Spike Prime Kit. You're going to see an active grabber. It's attached to a motor as well as a passive grabber. It works without attaching it to a motor at all. I'll show you how they work, how to build and attach them, and how to use them in your own missions. Our carabiner design is inspired by the one-way gate from our curtain build. It opens when you push through it, but once you're in, it snaps shut to trap the item. We use a beam on a pivot a stop to prevent over-rotation, and a rubber band or gravity to pull it closed. It's simple, fast, and super reliable. Let's build both types. First, the passive grabber. This is a basic design that clips onto your robot and collects items as you drive forward. Now, let's build something totally different, the active version. This one is gonna use a motor to swing down on top of items, clamp shut on them, and reset when you're ready for the next grab. It's time to attach these to our robot. For the motorized version, we're attaching it to a large motor. So think carefully about weight and balance. Bigger attachments can mess with your turning and precision driving, so plan accordingly. The passive version of the carabiner is lighter and snaps right on, but you still need a smart placement to avoid interference with wheels or sensors. What code should I use? If you're using the passive carabiner, no coding is needed beyond your driving motors. Just a line, bump, and trap. For the active version, we'll program the motor to swing up and out of the way, then drop down and grab at just the right moment. Hey, if this is helping you to get ready for the robot game or expanding how much you can do with your robotics kit, let us know. Drop us a comment, like this channel, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming builds. Be sure to let us know what challenge you're working on in the comments below. Now it's your turn. Build a mission using these looped objects from your Spike Prime kit. Have someone scatter them around a board, then Build one or both of the carabiner grabbers, attach them to your driving bot, and collect all the models in a single run. Whether you're building for practice or prepping for competition, mastering grabbers like this can seriously boost your score. Thanks for learning with us at Spratronics Learning Lab, where we build better robots, one mission at a time. Be sure to subscribe, share this with your team, and I'll see you in the next build.